Hey friends, welcome back to Sewing From Scratch. I'm Kate and this is where I teach you everything I know about sewing and we learn more together along the way. Today I am sharing with you my new dress form. I've never had a dress form and now I do and you're gonna find out what I love about it, what I don't like about it, how I made it, cause this is DIY baby, to my measurements. It's basically a clone of me, isn't it? And you know, if I recommend that you make one as well. So let's get into the making of it and all the things. So this is the Bootstrap website. I chose to go with the curvy DIY dress form, but you'll see there's all kinds of different ones. There's a misses, there's a leg form, there's an arm form, and there's even a men's dress form. So then it's as simple as inputting your measurements. You do want to be as accurate as you can here. Oh, right, and I got a discount code for signing up. So you should be able to get that as well. 15% off, woohoo! <laughs> so then you can enter your measurements. And there are some fit adjustments that I recommend filling out. And we're gonna talk about that at the end of the video, but definitely give as much information as you possibly can to get this to fit your body. I was quite skeptical because there was some maybe more important measurements that weren't on here that I was interested in. So for example, cup size, sewing cup size, and I wanted to see how accurate this would be without me using any of the fit adjustments. So I actually just went with the standard measurements. I filled all this out and then I got my pattern based on those. I did not do any of the fit adjustments or give any additional information. There is not a place to add notes. So if you have something that's not on here, there is no place to add notes, but you can reach out to Bootstrap and they will get back to you and hopefully accommodate you for your beautiful body. Once I had all of these filled out, then I added it to my cart. I will say, make sure you are adding your seam allowance if you want that. I somehow missed uh, clicking that yes button. I thought I did, but apparently not. And so the first version came without seam allowance and I just reached out to them. I was like, oh, can I please get seam allowance? I'm doing this on my projector and it would be really hard to, to you know, work around that. And they did one up super quick for me and fixed that. I also went with the CAD option versus print because like I said, I was doing my using my projector. And then once that comes up, I use the 47 inch PDF. And that's pretty much it. So then you go through and pay and you'll get an email to download your pattern. And if you create an and when you create an account, everything stays in there. So just like any other indie designer or online fabric online pattern website, you will be able to see all of your purchases in the account. And then you can download them again in the future. So that was all there was to that. I then used my projector to cut out the pattern pieces and now that we can sew it up. This project is a pretty basic sew, but I did follow the instructions, which are okay if you're an experienced sewist. There are a couple parts that are maybe a little bit tricky to understand. I made this with cotton muslin that I had on hand and I used two layers of fabric here and I did not interface so on all the pieces that you would normally do one layer I did two layers and then just didn't bother interfacing and I found that worked great. So it is quite a simple project. It's not as intimidating as you might think. The only parts I found difficult or tricky, notably tricky, were the armhole covers and attaching the inner support. Those were just the hardest to sew. I think it was really the only, the only real problem. 
and then the cups I <laughs> you're gonna see that I you know I seam ripped and I didn't just didn't have them right so make sure you're actually transferring your notches properly <laughs> and uh, and following those those markings I did go ahead and add the horizontal outlines or the for the bust and the underbust and the waist and the and the hips with the red zigzag thread and I am really happy I did. I really like how that turned out and it'll be really useful when actually using this dress form. This foam here I upcycled actually from my very first sewing project and I shared about it on Instagram so if you're not following me there make sure you head up down to the description box and click that link so you can follow me on Instagram and then you don't miss out on really good personal touches and behind the scenes stuff like that. I ended up only using one of those pieces because I, I didn't I thought I would have to cut one in half to make it deep enough but I really only needed one in the end. And then I stuffed it all with scraps, as you'll see here. I used six grocery bags worth of scraps, but just make sure that you put the pipe in, the PVC pipe in before you stuff. I had it all stuffed and then I was like, oh no. And I had to go back and try and stuff it in. It wouldn't go in all the way. I had to unstuff half of it or like take half of the stuffing out and it's just all lopsided now. So I'm probably gonna have to redo it again. And you can tell as I'm as I'm stuffing here that I'm measuring so you do want to make sure that you're getting it to the right measurement there, there will be just some amount of give in your fabric so my stuffing didn't turn out quite as nice and smooth I've already as as I would hope um, you know it's it's kind of a weird thing to be like stuffing yourself it feels like and and like I don't know it's just kind of weird but it did turn out and I am excited to have it this addition to my sewing room. Okay, so she's done! She was a pretty big project and there's, when you do a project like this, there's definitely gonna be things that you, well any project, there's gonna be things you like and don't like and, and things that you need to maybe change for next time. So the main thing I wanted to talk about is the the overall, I'm gonna call it fit, but you know what I mean. It's, she's not, she's not my size. I put in my measurements, she's not my size. My bust is larger, like, so the bust circumference is the same measurement, but my actual boobs are larger slightly. So I wanted to see how well it did without the extra measurements. But if you are go looking at purchasing a custom pattern, Give them all the information that you have. I would take all your measurements, put them in there. That's really the only biggest difference. Like it's not way off and I, I haven't put a shirt on it yet to see how it, you know, compares. But it is, it's like, I'm still very happy that I have this and I can adapt the pattern to fit me better. Uh, you will notice that it's not like, it's technically it's done, but I would like to go back and restuff some of the areas. They're just not as nice as I would like. And I will probably be painting the bottom of the stand here that my husband made for me. I also wanted to say that the instructions on this are pretty good, but there are some places where I did have not trouble, but it, you know, they were a little bit lacking. So you might want to look for a sew long or something like that. 
if that's something you want to see, I mean, let me know and I could do like an actual detailed sole or I can look into it. I can reach out to Bootstrap. So you can see it like I have like a lump, like a hunchback here. So some of this needs some smoothing out, but this is all full of scraps. I did stuff it with scraps as you saw uh, and it did turn out smoother than kind of than I had initially hoped. So in the end, this cost me around $50. So it was about $20 for the pattern, $25 for the pattern. And then the, the supplies, so the, the metal pipe and the PVC pipe was about $25. So all in all, $50, I had the muslin on hand. I of course had all the scraps. My husband used some scrap lumber and the foam we had in the cardboard. So it, was it cheap? No, not cheap, but it was definitely a cost savings over purchasing a new dress form. And I really like that it's custom. So that was the biggest thing for me is having it customizable. I might go ahead and add a cover to this. I don't know, I kind of like, because I did the seaming, I kind of like being able to see all that. Uh, of course I could do it on a cover as well, but I do just like the, the homemade aspect of how she looks right now. So that's all I have for you today. I still don't have a name for this beauty, so if you have any suggestions, leave them for me down below. I was trying to think of something like, as a kid, what was the name that I wanted to be called? And I really didn't, like, I didn't ever want to be called something different. Or like when we played Make Believe, there was never one name that I was like, oh, I wish that was my real name. I did want to change the spelling of my name, but I think if we kept her name the same as mine, that would be weird. So if you have any suggestions of what we should call her, leave me some comments down below. And make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel so I can see you in the next video. It's a really fun one. I'll catch you then. Bye!